I don't wear any You of are this. talking yourself out of a job, mate. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Lucy Pargeton. My name's Emma Atkins. And this is Confessions, Confessions with, with OK. okay. <laughs> the best thing about, about being, being on Emmerdale is... The people. Yeah, the friendships and the camaraderie. The atmosphere fully... Yeah, yeah. and it's just about getting back to normal now, isn't it? Yeah. It was all right during uh, the separation period, but uh, yeah, things are getting back to normal slowly, slowly, but definitely the people... It was weird not being able to touch and hug. Officially. Really, yeah. What? 50th anniversary teaser. teaser. We it's, just know it's yeah. going to be big, it's going to be bold, it's going to be brave, it's going to be brilliant, it's going to be... Are we involved? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we better be. I think uh, I am. What? I've not been... I've not been told I'm clearly not in it! <laughs> now, the weirdest fa fan encounter I've had is when I was being wheeled from just having a cesarean section down the hospital with with my girls in my arms and somebody asked for a picture. I'd just come off the operating table with newborn <laughs> twins <laughs> looking like death. Oh, and somebody no. asked if it was all right if I if they had a picture. And I said, well it's not really appropriate. And he went, it's okay, I'll just take one of you. I was like, oh no, my that that was a bit that weird. Is, I, and inappropriate. The best night out we've had with co-stars was Charlie Webb's surprise wedding. Yes. Because we all thought it was just a big 30th and it was all just a bit crazy and It was a massive fun. party anyway, so but it was going was, over the top for a 30th. It was it was huge. But I was gutted because I didn't no. look that great. And she said, make sure you come looking great. I was like, all right, it's only a 30th. Well, when I turned out to be one of the bridesmaids, I was absolutely devastated. Oh, I was like, I know, this dress should have been a better dress. She went, well, I did tell you. So yeah, yeah. that... Definitely that one, would you I say? I actually, for the first time ever in real life, I think, genuinely actually shed a tear for somebody. Not it that was I was just, saying goodbye to yeah, Charlie. As everyone as in that room, we were all just... Yeah. It was just brilliant. You can't really Great describe surprise. It. And then having the hokey cokey as the first dance was the ultimate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if we had to pick another character to play in the show, for me, there are two people, one of whom is still in the show and one has left. So, um, Faith Dingle, I think she's pretty cool. She's so funny, she's so charismatic. I can't take my eyes off when she's on screen. She manages to make everyone laugh and you, yeah. Um, and the other one is Emma Barton. Do you remember oh, Emma Barton? Oh, yes. Um, Jill, Gillian Kearney, because she just could play crazy so well and I thought, I'd love to play a character that that zany and that crazy. I think it's hard um, though because people, if you if you're looking to play a character, your interpretation of the character might be different, and yeah. the way that they played that character makes you want to be. No, that but character. if you could morph into that person, morph into that. I person. would morph into Emma Barton or Faith. What about you? Uh, I would morph into Kane Dingle. Would you? Yeah. Or you. Oh, because I think we're quite similar, but you get away with being nastier, and I'd want Chaz to be slightly nastier. She used to be, but she's mellowed in her old I age. I do love, I do love our chemistry together. Anyway, I do often watch you and think, good oh hell. No. Yeah. So charity, so I could be bad, and Kane, so I could be bad. I'm not that bad. You are. Mm -hmm. Not in, not really, but you are. Not bad. If I wasn't in Emmerdale, the soap slash show that I would like to be in is something period-esque. I mean, I'd like to be in Peaky Blinders because I just want to play. Ooh, you'd you know, be so good at that. But as one of the blokes. <laughs> <laughs> in those amazing suits yes. and caps. Yes. Yes, so I'd, I'd change my gender and I'd be a Peaky Blinder, <laughs> so that's quite strange. Or something periody, so you could wear the most amazing dresses and just pretend that you own this massive stately home. Amazing. I would be in Friends. Or Saturday Night Live, and I'd be Kristen Wiig because I often would love to like be the English Kristen Wiig of life because she's just she is my idol. I love her, um, and she makes everyone laugh. And that's like, can you imagine doing that for a living? I mean, we no, try, we try, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'd pick. Behind the scenes secret that fans might not know is uh, at the village there is a button that you can press that makes the chimney smoke. Where's the button? I don't know. I thought we it was in the costume. That and that is awesome. I want to be pressing that button when I'm not supposed oh, to be. I think it's in, is it in the tea room. I think it's in the tea room upstairs, which is the tea room. Is, whose house is the tea room? Who lives in the tea room? The tea, where's the tea room? Oh, that tea room. 
tea room. Yeah, sorry, the tea room. <laughs> so, and the salon the is actually our dressing rooms. And in the wool pack, there's actually nothing in the wool pack. Some of the sets are used as sets, but the wool pack wasn't. But there was a part of the wool pack actually built, built for in the live. Built for the live. Which was amazing. That was still there and just used for the live, but it's just been taken out because we've changed the wool pack set. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, we get dressed in the salon. Most awkward situation I've ever been in work uh, in at work was when I have. Uh, I think it's quite widely known that I have a slight problem with wind. Sort of uh, bounce uh, off it. And I can. Rem <laughs> oh, I can remember during. Going this, I'm please, going. <laughs> no, I was told off during COVID times. I was told off because my wind just happens. It just comes out. And I was told off by somebody for not putting a mask on when I burped. So that was really quite embarrassing that I had to kind of try and anticipate when I was gonna burp and then had to put a mask on to burp. So that was, I, I didn't enjoy that one. Mine was the other day actually, when I was in my dressing room. Well, you just put my No, I just put my jeans on. And uh, there's a point at the end of the day where you can open the door and let the costume girls in. <laughs> and I let them in to come and get all the clothes. And there's a big lump at the bottom of my jeans, and I was like, "What's that?" And it was my knickers, and I pulled them out and went, oh, "I'm so sorry." And we laughed. But I've done that in real thank life. Thank God it was in the dressing room and not. No, but I've done that going out for dinner. I've been out at dinner oh, no, and Lucy. been kind of thinking, no, "What's that?" No. And my That's jeans. A step too far. And I felt in my jeans at a restaurant there was a bulge in my jeans. Sounds wrong. Oh and God, what restaurant was it? It was Harvey Nicks years and years ago on the top floor of the brasserie <gasps> thing. And I pulled out my pants at the table. Who were you with? Uh, oh uh, my God. I, <laughs> I never It was knew somebody that. that knew my pants, had seen oh my pants, my so that was fine. Oh my God. <laughs> if I was to go on a reality TV show. Reality TV? I want to say strictly, because, but yeah. every, I guess everyone says that, but I would love to do that one day if, if I got my, if I could sort my problem out with my nerves, because I always think that would be and the thing that would dudes. hold me back. 